<laughs> Popped out my uh, thermal fuse there. <laughs> Pulling too many amps. Push that back in. Did it again. Guess I gotta back that down again because my supply will crap out. Play a little note here, kicks out the uh, screen. So yeah, that's not gonna work because I can't uh, can't play anything. Well, let me real quick put it back on the trumpet. Play a little something. <laughs> oh yeah, that ain't good. That damn opto coupler laying around here somewhere. I was gonna make my interrupter isolated, but I guess that's just gonna have to wait. I can see that it does work in practice so long as I isolate it. And once I do that, it'll quit uh, kicking my computer out and really don't want it to uh, mess that up. A lot of interference when I touch the interrupter because it's not isolated. About like I had thought originally, if I put this at about 60% duty cycle um, as opposed to 50, I see a dramatic increase in the output as well as the consumption. So, whereas before I was finding a pretty rock steady 4 to 5 amps peak up to about 50, 
you know, two percent duty cycle or so at about 31 volts. As soon as I go up to that 60, that's when it starts to shoot up to about eight or more amps. Um, of course, the problem is, as I'm realizing, you know, I've I've got a 10 amp thermal fuse in here that's basically designed to trip before anything else overheats in here. So I'm not pushing 10 amps at 30 volts. Um, this battery is a it's a 20 volt drill battery. It's not going to push 300 watts for very long at all. It might do it at a peak very shortly. Um, so I'm only going to get 10 amps out of it for a while if I'm down to like you know 15 volts or something like that, 20 volts. Um, so I don't have a high enough current supply to push 300 uh, watts reliably one at least that I would want to drive this from uh, so I'll have to just kind of cut it on real quick and cut it back off so you can see it jumping up there about 8 amps peaking at But I would imagine uh, once I, if I was to able to draw that initial breakout and the supply could maintain that long enough, I could play around with the distance from there and I'm pretty sure I'd be able to draw out <laughs> some much more significant arcs at that 60% duty. But again, that might be about the point where something is going to fail. Now, apparently a lot of people have a problem with their FETs failing. Um, that hasn't really been an issue for me. It was just major heating, and they would fail if I left that heating unchecked. Um, in this case, it's either going to be the FET or the flyback that goes at those voltages. Uh, who knows, uh, something else on the driver could fail, but as of yet, nothing has. Uh, but I'm starting to think this cheap flyback, there's no way it's going to be able to take way more than that. And I mean, I don't see how it could. It's not magic. So, but yeah, that's not bad. 